Hey, this is Tony, and in this video, I'm going to give you the step-by-step -step instructions of how to put a site tube on your rainwater harvesting system so that you can easily check the level of the water in your barrels. Now for this project, you're going to need seven items. The first one is most easily found on Amazon. It's the three quarter inch polycarbonate tubing. Probably you're going to need about a six foot or 72 inch length for your system. The next item you're going to need is a PVC compression coupling. The third item you'll need is a PVC T. You'll need a couple of inches of PVC line to come up from the T. The fifth item you'll need is some sealant. This particular brand pictured here is the one that I used for my project. You need something that stops leaks and also acts as a glue. The sixth item that you'll need is a PVC cap to go on top of the tube to keep bugs out. And the last item you'll need is some foam pipe insulation to go around the tube just to prevent algae from growing inside of it. The day before you're ready to do your install, you'll want to take one of the rubber grommets from inside the compression coupling and apply sealant to the inside a nice large bead of sealant. And then we're going to press that about one inch onto the bottom of the clear tube. Then set that up and let it dry overnight. Now in this example, I already have the T installed in my line. Sorry, I didn't video that but we're first going to take a small couple inches of PVC pipe, apply primer and glue to it, and pop that into the T. You'll take one of your end caps from the compression coupling, slide that on there, and then slide the other grommet onto the PVC pipe as well. Then you'll just simply take your compression coupling, slide it on there, and tighten up that end cap. Once that's done, grab your PVC pipe that you glued up the night before and slide the side with the rubber grommet into the coupling. Slide the end cap down from the top and tighten that up as well. Once that's done, you should be good to go. You're ready to go ahead and turn on the water and give it a test. Before we do a final recap of the last steps, I just wanted to pop a quick link up above. If you're thinking about doing a battery powered solar charged water pump for watering your garden. I do have another video on how to put one of those together. Once your assembly is complete, just slide that foam insulation over the top of your clear tube and be sure and put that end cap on top. That'll keep dirt and bugs out of your system. 
when you want to check the level just slide the foam tube up and it's easy as that thanks for watching please hit the like button if you found this video helpful and please subscribe to our channel for future updates on the system